Hello and welcome to this lecture where we're going to take a look at computer properties and watches. So first of all we're printing out the message property and yes it is live so it's data binded to the message property. But however let's say we want to reverse the string and display it here. Well this is a bit of an issue because what we could do is run a method. You can do it within text interpolation but it doesn't keep the template nice and clean. So what we'd like to do is use a computer property. You'll see here I have reversed message. And so what this is, is a computer property. So instead of having data, we have computed. Computed is an object and your key names, because don't forget this is ES6. So you have your object here and then you type in your key name. The key name is the property name. Computed prop is here and also reversed message is here. And you'll notice that's what I've written right there. And whatever this function returns, you can do for loops in here, you can do all sorts of crazy stuff in your computer property, hence the computational part. But whatever is ultimately returned will be printed out. For example, what's returned here will be printed out. So what happens is we can access any property we like, again with methods or with computed properties using the this keyword and that will return the view object and that will allow us to access these properties we've created. So we're accessing the message property. As you can see here, we split it, reverse it and join it. And it just looks so clean with the reversed message right there. Now, the beautiful thing about computer properties is automatic dependency injection. What do I mean by that? Well, if you take a look at a chef, a chef needs an ingredient list to make the meal or to cook. So the dependencies are the ingredients that he needs to purchase. Vue.js automatically looks at your computer properties and says, what ingredients do we need? Well, we are relying on the message property. So if the message property changes, we also need to change this property or computer property. And very quickly, let's go ahead and just copy this out and say V model. Now I can just very quickly change uh, v model msg and we also want to make the type text a loss is really cool so it updates the message property which you can see here but it also understood that this computer property needed a dependency being injected into it which was the message property now next up we have another computer property as an example so this is computed prop you can see i'm printing it out here computed prop and I've got two V models here to change the value of A and value of B. These are just number properties. You can see them there. A is 200, B is 300. And we're going to say lazy loading because we want to finish typing before it makes any changes. And we also want to say that this field returns a number data type. Very important because in my computer property, you can say this dot A divided by two, so it needs to be a number, otherwise we'll get nan, which is not a number. So this divided by two, and also we're gonna take the B value and divide it by two as well. So once we do this, well, you can see that A has been divided by two, which that would be 100, and B is divided by two, which 300 divided by two is 150. So the returned value is 250 as you can see. So now if I change this to let's say 1000, that is going to be 500. Now ignore those alerts right there. 1000 divided by two is 500 plus 150, and I can even change this to now 400. And you'll notice that the value has changed. 1000 plus 400 is 1400, half 1400 is 700. So Vue actually takes care of dependency injection. If one part of your application changes, let's say these properties, and something else like your computer property relies upon it, Vue will automatically say this computer prop needs this dot a and this dot b and if they change, then this property needs to update as well. Next up we have watches. So the beautiful thing about watches is they're very easy to establish. These are called observables in other languages. Obviously, this is an observable, but Vue.js makes it so simple. So you can see here we have the A property. Now, the A property has the value of 200, and we run a function called alert. So what happens is if the value of A changes, then we get an alert message, and it says the A value was changed. And also, 
you can watch computed properties as well. So you've got the standard properties that you can watch, and then you've got your computer properties that you can watch. So computed prop, you can see here, will alert out. Computer value is now different alert when that computer property returns a different value. So let's go ahead and try this. So what I do is I take a look at my input here that changes the value of A. So I'm gonna set this to 500. Now don't forget, we're using the lazy modifier here. So technically the A property here is still at its last value we set. However, when I blur off that, then the change event fires and the A value was changed. So view was watching that property. And so the key name right here is the name of the property we want to watch. You can also write it like this if you wanted to using ES6 syntax, it's entirely up to you, but I wanted to demonstrate the key name must be the same as the property name you want to watch. In this case, we're watching the A property. Once it changed, it basically runs whatever you want it to run right here, whatever that needs to be. But for the moment, I've just alerted out a message. Now the next one is the computed property. Now you'll notice that what happened was when I changed the value, so let's change it to 600, it said the A value was changed, I clicked OK and there was another alert that said computed value is now different. And again, the reason why the computed prop watcher invoked itself is because the computed prop returns a different value if A or B is changed. In this case, A changed, and therefore the computed prop alerted out. Now I haven't got a watcher on the value B, so if I say 800, what it will do is it will change this property, and of course that will knock on to the computer property because the computer property understands it needs B, and if B changes, I need to re-invoke this computer property. So it does, and therefore the watcher that we have, computer prop, says, right, there's a different value that's been returned from this computer property. And so it simply prints it out. How easy is that with Vue.js? In other frameworks, this is actually quite hard to set up, but with Vue, it's so simple. So go ahead, please subscribe and enjoy my channel. Thank you very much.